On the 25th of May, every year we celebrate Africa Day. Africa Day is a time to celebrate, to reflect, to embrace the diversity of the continent, the richness, the culture. But it's also a time to reflect, to reflect on our development, to reflect on some of the challenges that we have, and to reflect on the population at large. This year, I want to particularly reflect on three things. The first one is around malaria. Malaria is still a menace on the African continent. 95% of morbidity and 96% of mortality is still found on the African continent. This we need to stop. We need to change the story. We need to change the narrative. Malaria is hindering development. So we definitely have to come together in terms of ensuring that we can have a collective effort, have a multi-sectoral effort in the fight against malaria. The second thing I want to focus on is around the youth. Again, Africa has a very huge population of youth and we need to collectively work with them. They are the leaders of tomorrow. We need to continuously engage them, be able to tap into their very good and brilliant innovative ideas and to really create employment for them. A stronger youth in Africa is definitely a way to go in terms of development. Finally, I would like to focus on another passion of mine, which is gender. The scourge that malaria is having um, on our continent affects disproportionately women. So how do we ensure that we continue to make sure that our programming is really gender sensitive and we're able to work with the various communities, with the various leaders to ensure that we have a gender sensitive approach. If we empower the woman, we empower all of us. If we empower the woman, we're better off as a continent. So I urge all of us as leaders, as stakeholders, as people in the communities, let us see how we embrace um, the diversity we have on the continent. Let us see how we embrace the culture and let us see how we live a world better for our youth than we found it. Happy Africa Day.